COVID-19, the buzzword. You read it in the newspapers, you watch it on televisions, you open the YouTube and COVID is there. The panic is high and as I say that COVID affects the psych more than the physic. And if one has COVID during pregnancy, panic is higher and the scare is tremendous. So today, I, Dr. Sudesh Nare, I'm going to talk, I'm going to answer FAQs on COVID in pregnancy. Now, how bad is COVID-19 in pregnancy compared to the other flus like Spanish flu or the H1N1 flu? Well, COVID-19 can really be a dreadful disease, but fortunately, it hasn't been so unkind to pregnancies so far. So if we talk about Spanish flu, the Spanish flu, the death rate in mothers were as high as about 27%. In H1N1, the death rate in the mothers was about seven times higher than those without H1N1. But when we talk about maternal deaths because of COVID, the risk is increase is only about 0.02 to 0.2%, which is a very positive note to begin our talk with. Does pregnancy makes one more vulnerable to COVID? Well, just because you, uh, you're you pregnant, you're not going to attract COVID more than the non-pregnant individual. The world studies uh, from January 20 to January 21 has shown the following things about COVID and pregnancy. One, pregnant mothers are tend to get more sicker with COVID than the non-pregnant women. So they are considered to be a high risk group. Two, admissions with COVID before the delivery is increased in these times. Three, there is a small increase in the risk of fetal deaths or stillbirths or premature deaths and maternal depression. Fourth, there has been no increase in the risk of miscarriages. Now, please remember that these statistics are worldwide statistics which might not reflect Indian data adequately. Indian studies have not yet been not yet shown to have a lot of adverse effects. However, the studies are going on and we will definitely come up with more data soon. The only thing which I can tell you is we are finding mothers getting sicker in the second wave than the first wave. Even if you have COVID in pregnancy, please do not panic. Most of you will recover completely without any complications and without the need for any strong medications. Be in touch with your doctor from the beginning. Do not hide your symptoms. Do not shy away from taking the test. Eat well, rest well, hydrate yourself well and most importantly, do not panic. If I have COVID during my pregnancy, can my child have any abnormality? Well, the good news is so far, whatever statistics we have has not been shown to have any harmful effects on the development of the fetus or the baby. COVID-19 has no effect on the development, unlike other viruses like rubella or chickenpox. Which months of the pregnancy COVID can be more harmful? Well. In the first and second trimesters, COVID has not been shown to have much effect. But if you contract uh, COVID in the third trimester, in the last three months of the pregnancy, there are more complications like uh, premature birth, like fetal deaths and sicker mothers. Is it safe to visit hospitals or visit clinics during uh, pregnancy for checkups? Well, yes. Most of the hospitals, even if they have COVID um, uh, patients, they will have a completely separate area for COVID and non-COVID. They are completely separate. So it is safe to go to the hospitals. However, uh, worldwide, as well as in India, we are, uh, we are following a mixed protocol where we are seeing patients on video consultations as well as physical consultation, even during pregnancy. So at least one visit in each first trimester and second trimester is needed as a physical consultation. The rest can be done on a virtual. And in the third trimester, of course, a physical consultation has to be more. Whenever you are going to visit a doctor, it's a good idea to combine all your ultrasounds, tests, everything in one day so that uh, you don't have to visit the hospitals more often. Is it a good time to plan a pregnancy? Well, 
socially and logistically yes and many have done so because the travel is less you are able to stay at home and have home food you're probably uh, able to take a little more rest so as I said that you can go ahead and plan a pregnancy and many have done so. If you had a problem in the previous pregnancy or if you are suffering from a problem where pregnancy can be complicated and you need to have more visits to the hospital and more visits to the doctor, it is probably not the ideal time to have a pregnancy. Typically, such situations are diabetes, high diabetes during pregnancy, high blood pressure during pregnancy, previous preterm births etc. Can I have a normal delivery if I have COVID and can I enjoy all the privileges? You can definitely have a normal delivery even if you have COVID. If you have a cesarean section it will be for some other reasons other than COVID. But coming to privileges there is definitely certain restrictions about these privileges. Even if you don't have COVID only one visitor will be allowed to come to the hospital with you and stay with you till you get discharged. No visitors will be allowed to visit the new mother in the hospital. Your partner or your relative will not be allowed in the labor room or in the operating room where your cesarean will be performed. Now unfortunately if you have COVID during the delivery, no visitor will be allowed to stay with you or to be with you during your delivery. But please don't panic. The doctors and nurses are going to take a good care of you and try to keep you as comfortable and as connected as possible. It is also very important to note that please get yourself registered or get your name registered in a hospital where COVID deliveries are allowed. Not all hospitals are allowing COVID deliveries and at, at the last moment if you have COVID you are you don't want a panic situation and you don't want to go from door to door begging for a bed. Can a new mom be allowed to breastfeed a baby if she is COVID positive? Breastfeeding has a lot of significant advantages and they are far more than the small risk of COVID in the newborn. If the mother has an active disease, the mother might choose to give an expressed breast milk but a few days later she can even breastfeed her baby with a mask on. The breast milk can have antibodies which can actually be protective against COVID for the newborn. Can I get vaccinated during the pregnancy? There has been certain vaccinations in the pregnancy happening in the UK and the US and other countries. However, uh, the government of India, the Ministry of Health government of India has not yet given permission for the vaccines available in India to be used during pregnancy. So as long as though we know that the vaccination is safe and is probably needed during pregnancy, till we have a government uh, permission, we are not allowed to give vaccinations to pregnant women for COVID-19. Can I get vaccination against COVID-19 while I am planning for a pregnancy? Yes, you can. Worldwide studies have shown that it is absolutely safe for you to take the vaccination while you are planning for a pregnancy. There is no need to defer the pregnancy or to defer vaccination just because you are trying for a pregnancy. Now, accidentally, if you get vaccinated and then find out that you are pregnant, there is absolutely no need to terminate the pregnancy because COVID-19 vaccination has not been found to have any abnormality in the baby. Coming back to the basics, certain things have no alternatives still. So practice your hand washing, keep your masks on, maintain social distancing and keep yourself away from gatherings. Protect yourself prevent the disease and stay safer. If you want to connect, please write to me at drsudeshnacares at gmail.com. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any videos by us.